of what his position is based upon his political motive. Tell everybody how much you love ATN News Media Group. ATN News Media Group, uh, I love them because they get the message to a sports Negro up in California for burning them jockeys from under the bridge and sending them to Flint uh, because they, nobody recognizes the dark man no more. They rather to burn them out and talk about NRA Negro record he has and you ain't getting no money. Yes, I had a cocktail. Hard times. Oh, hey. Good morning, we family. all look. Soon as I seen fam. Hey, Stephanie, with your crazy still. Good morning, oh, that's Stephanie. On oh, Stephanie. Yes. Roger, good morning. I'm saying good I morning. I see you, Renee. Hi, hi Sister Audrey. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Renee. Hi, Raymond. Hey, Knock Maurice. Out. Knock out. Okay, I'm just playing. Oh, you, you go ahead. I was I, just trying I, to be. I hey, Maurice from Palak. You didn't, did he ever say, how, where's Palaka, Florida? Where is it by? You know, me and on, I need to go on vacation. Oh, you enjoyed the show, Mama Quill? Thank you. Did you get the link and sign up and everything? Because you know you're going to be a part of the movement. Good morning, Sharita and Deborah and Salty Shelf. Yes, I'm ready for a cocktail too, Michelle Pfeiffer. Kendall We've been putting in, in work all yeah. week. Ms. J. Richburg, Vicky Bailey, Kendra Weathers, Michael Cooley, Wanda Smith, Quita, the fan from Tennessee, Miss Green. Who's that point of information? Miss <laughs> Renee Jackson. That's my sister. Oh, Cassie Marie. He said Gainesville and Daytona. Okay, I, I got a couple more months of training to do before I can break out a two piece Maurice. Let me come down. <laughs> what you laughing at? I just was thinking something in my head. Okay. <laughs> Deshaun. Patrick G. Good morning, family. Roll tight. That's that's the family. You know, that's your family. That's the family. Oh, let me share too. I'm mad that I, I bought them these damn attends up in here. Mm. Because it's this building smell like somebody need them. <laughs> somebody didn't. Somebody sold and came out in this bathroom up here <laughs> this morning. And um, it ain't right. It just ain't right in here. The smell ain't right. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> what? They sold it. It smelled like they sold and left their body. Left the, yeah, they messed up. They sick, sick. <laughs> Mickey Tracy said they Glenn, sick, good sick. Good morning, family. Good and y'all, I was on time. Mickey would hit the button late. Man, if you I was on time. Mickey, don't lie. You know I was here before 9 o'clock. This is what time you walked in the door. 9 o'clock. And you had to get ready. This no, way. All I had to do was sit up. Yeah, right. Man, he be lying. Yeah. Space okay, cool. Sprocket. It is what it is. Luana Terry, good morning. Jay Williams. Standing I see there you. looking in the mirror. Terry Knight Nixon. Saying damn to myself. Great morning and everyone in the chat casually. It was great morning. I'm tripping today. Somebody sick. Sick, sick. Sick. You said Waddell Miller. If I said your, your name wrong, blame uh -oh. it on Winters. I'm sorry. Blame it on the alcohol. Drinking. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, good morning. Hop it's too early to drink. Hop you do get on good morning little um, mama let me victoria let William, me good share morning this Donnell out. Merit, if i see you cam patterson morning morning everyone every lovely people it's freestyle friday y'all know yeah, what we ain't, do ain't a funny rj can i be forgetting to hit that uh that that, that button on mondays and friday angie mac what's, what's good what button you it? forget to hit to go live yeah you do so I, I all right who, who shame me rj cat i sure do if he is, uh, they said Quincy Bennett. <laughs> ah, y'all like that. Y'all know I can't go to nothing. 
<laughs> Angie Mac the Goat, she was at the gym with us yesterday. That's what's up. That's she what's was in up. there working it out. That's Man, what's up. We was in there like Martin. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> I'm lying. We was in there sitting down. I'm, I'm, I'm over here and, and you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I can't go to none on my mama's side now with y'all. <laughs> us I'm you the one you just as bad bro i'm i'm done what they say when they say you cut <laughs> it's cooked you're just as bad i see your wig i'm done on that side. tony wig that's my brother that's my brother it was good seeing you too angie oh she said i'm beautiful angie you are too beautiful sister one compliment to another see when you secure within yourself you don't mind passing compliments you are beautiful too Eddie Gray, good morning. I'm telling y'all. Standing there, looking I in the mirror. You know, Tony, it, that's the song for the day. Saying damn to myself. When I get it. Never thought the day would come. I'm hoping it ain't a family reunion this year. <laughs> I'm trying to give Tony the song for the day. I get it. That's for sister I got other tonight. things going on, too, because after the, what you did, that, 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 that guest you had yesterday didn't go well with the family. It didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guests didn't talk that much. It was I'm really just saying here with the shades on. Yeah, and I'm I didn't even you, like. But, but you know what's real, though? What happened? What's it real? It takes two people to make you. <laughs> so I got another side I'm going to be chilling with from here on out. I, don't, I, I already sent them my uh, release forms <laughs> today. Yeah, you put that two-week notice in. Shut up, Mickey. I put that in. See, Shut good. up, Mickey. <laughs> Shut up. You ain't no good, Mickey. I, I, done, put, I done put my two-week notice in. You I'm straight. No good, Mickey. Nah, nah. It was a time when I was like, you know, nah, it's still good. Not happy. Not happy. <laughs> I was like, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Poor oh, Mickey. Him what's can't so go to sad? the... What's so sad? It's my granny side. That's what's terrible. Oh. I was like, that's what's up. That's what's up. But it's all good. Tony got the song. Winter's when, yeah, when winters is fed up, that's it. That's it, Raymond. When winters is fed up, I just said, I'm, you know, yep, yep. It's a bot the midget. That's what. That's what. It's not. That's not a good look. <laughs> it was looking. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I hate to. <laughs> Let's see what Miss what Sister Renee Jackson said. Mickey, you can go. Just ask Winters to give you those nice. I'll definitely days. probably be, be over there. Y'all be hearing me probably throwing on one side with a, with a crew. I'm straight. I just sometimes, like they say, when, when people be saying, God told them, God talked to me too. Sometimes you got to let it go. I put in my two week notice. I'm straight. See, let I'm, it go. Yeah, I put in that two week notice. Ain't no sense of going there. I'm giving up on the hood picnics, everything. I've been used to being everything. by myself. Everything. Damn. Ain't no sense to me. I ain't got nothing. What they say ain't nothing good for you over there. Thanksgiving. Let it go. I I, I come from I come from like I said. You got, when you got two sides. You yeah. It took more than one person to make you. Now. <laughs> Thank God. He done did the release whistle. You done, Mickey? No, I'm just saying. All right, he he told me so. I'm just saying that's what people say when God talks to. Hi, me. Arthur. That my butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably fighting the air right now. I love you, Art. <laughs> can I see Marie? Can That's you only imagine? Joke. Lord, can you imagine? I only can imagine behind closed door with that side saying, that son of a, a bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> you know, you know, we family. I'm like, what? Because I did that sometime. Like, hey, we were? Okay. I had, you know, when you, when you miss certain functions and stuff, you forget. Who our family is, so what I didn't do, but I I can live with it. I'm gonna stand on business. Stand on business. That's the most. Yep. Because that stand Ashley Capital business. has caused a lot of problems in a lot of people's lives. Ain't that something? Yeah. Yeah. A lot and of my people's family lives. hollering Ashley Capital now. I was like, oh. like what you be like? What what y'all know about Ashley Capital? Hey, there go my beautiful sister. Oh, no. I did. What's up, Anna? I did say this from though. the DMV. It made it bad. Oh, but we no. can't even do business with Ashley Capital, but I ain't just blame now. Ashley Capital. I blame. I blame Arlington too. Arlington yeah. Curtis. Yep, I, I blame Arlington too because I said he went for that 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 that, that, that little change. I'm like Arlington took a one hundred twenty five dollars. He said it. 
Like you said, it Arlington said they gave me $125 for my show. I've been paying for my AM show for the last 72 years <laughs> by myself. So I said, so me being the I'm like family, I call everybody that we see doing wrong. And so, you know, it was like, I was like, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So he just saying, basically, ain't no sense in me coming to the uh, family reunion this year. I'm sorry. You got sent you from your own family. I dog. said that too. I said, ain't that some stuff there? I ain't mean to. You could have told him it was just me. Yeah, I, no, uh, 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 you know. Hey, what, Clack. You said we, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest show on AM. <laughs> yes, <so>. Arlington's. <laughs> ah, Clack. So, Clack, you already know. We will team so, up to get somebody's ass. So, we, <laughs> so, so Arlington, you know, when he did that this, so I'll explain it to my family too. They said he did what? I said, yeah. He, he, you he told him about what? Arlington? Yeah, because I told him I said the $1,500 candy, and I said the 11000 Nine more. Then the Christmas gifts, and, and they was like, I said, but it was recorded. And then I talked about, I, you know, I showed them, I gave them information. They just, they were shaking their head like, you know, that's, 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 that's family. Coming. I that's said, listen, man, it's already the, out there. It's coming under the door. Well, I can't do nothing about that. Somebody over there, they didn't probably, they, that's, they probably did. If, if you smell it like that and you still living, that don't make no damn sense. Got to be. And you, you know, I don't understand got how to folks be. go to the bathroom. Somebody hit the gym like that the other day. Michelle uh, was in there. I was like, let me go spray and help her out. Because it was just somebody hit the gym the other day and it was it was wrong. Maybe that uh, I didn't do a lot that have overpowered the room, but I had to spray something towards the door. Maybe it uh, Intercept the shit. Finally, now y'all know what we're going through up here. We went from the mold to now we next to the. Uh, it's like we live right next to somebody. The, uh, like we need working, some of these. We working here. right next to the uh, shit, shit factory. factory. <laughs> we said it at the same That's time. Where we at. The shit factory. But I'm not mad at y'all. We we here. This is where we at. This is what we now, do. You'll get us put out. But uh, we could probably try to get. But the way that thing, when you get off that elevator. Ooh, like wait, then they why do people want to go to the back bathroom? Like this enough. shit smell ain't gonna come to the front of the room. This is what we're going through. We we right next to the uh, shit factory. I um, don't know who's in this building, but which one ever y'all is study killing this. Please, it's a can bathroom. Help y'all out. We got a free pack of no, that's some stuff you do. No, that's some stuff you do for at home. But in case they can't make it no, home, put this a, on until you get home. home. That's when you go at home and do but if the they public. can't make it, a ten, you can come down here. We got a pair of tens. Put these on until you get home and leave, and take that home. You ain't supposed to smell like that out in public. Damn, the whole building. God. I can't help it. That's collided, didn't it? Man, the vanilla and the shit. I'm sorry. Oh, Mickey. my God. It's going to be a rough show, family. Open up the back door so we can get some more air up in here or something. Damn. Somebody. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this ain't going to be a great show for me. Oh, oh what did Devil Luna say? Floral Diddy. Flo <laughs> now, y'all know I can't even go to the. Uh, <laughs> Hood picnics no more because y'all did this, that little what's the thing? And then Clack. He said, but dussy. Then, uh, <laughs> then I got Clack. calls and they was like, Yes, that, that you know, I was <laughs> Yeah, yeah, never <laughs> Marcus Field, until we get there, they gonna claim me right now. I'm on Chitlin Circuit. Ain't nobody claiming me. <laughs> Who ain't <laughs> claiming you? Let me I'm me, me and the brother Marcus, my good brother from out in Cali, we talking about this debacle when it went. I'm I'm calling it mm. the pen gate. It's it's but they, it's a t these these this the knockoff version. These are tens. But well, a ten gate. A ten gate. A ten gate. A has ten. caused a lot of friction Oof. in the family for me. How many is in a pack? Fourteen. And if it was like a family, let me just say I'll break it down in mob terms. If it was like a family, now don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. My mom and them side, like a lot of them, they with me. 
I'm not, but a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Some of them like that asshole and really did it. So it was like the head had to go to the other family. <laughs> to make up the Y'all video. negotiating? No, I don't know. They ain't making them negotiate. They just give me that call and be like, brother. You can't come no more. No, nah, they ain't say that. They was like, you ain't lighting up, is you? I said, no. Nah. <laughs> well, somebody said we need some older band. Shit. Yeah, yeah we, we do. We need a motherfucking window. Can open up. That's it. Oof. It's terrible up here, but yeah. it is. We fighting through it. I ain't even over my water, I think water, they did bro. that on purpose. They like it. They want to talk about shit. We going to give them some shit to talk about. And oh, my it. God. Did somebody clip that when Miss Beverly came on? I don't oh, know. Oh, that's why I got that call. Somebody clipped it. Oh, my God. Because I was trying to wiggle a lot. I was trying to win. I was like, man, no, nah, that's probably. She got up there. I, I said, didn't I was say probably nothing. on par. I lied. I, I put I my lied. head down. Said, that was probably on. I walked away from it. Then I said, I wasn't even at the camera. Technically, I wasn't. I did. I walked away. When I saw her come with her, I said, oh, my God. He was sitting there. I walked away from the camera. Oh, okay. He walked away from the camera. I put my damn head down. I ain't oh, saying nothing. Oh, my God. Nothing. AK Colin, Flint after dark. Oh, Lord my be God. With me. Mm-hmm. 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 Somebody send it to me in my inbox mm-hmm. real quick. Mm-hmm. 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 This shit here. That's why I got a call, you know, from, from my grant. You know, it was just like, I'm like, Lord, I got them calls. I knew what it was. Mm-hmm. That's why I was acting like I lied. Yes, I was like, I ain't hear the call. I watched my auntie call that phone. I knew it was about to go down. I got something to say. Said it's all across her. That's what she was talking about. Cause I'm like, man, ain't nobody clipped. And I ain't clipped because I know I don't. I said, I ain't clipped nothing. No, I ain't clipped that. You know, I wasn't gonna talk about yeah, what, yeah, what yeah, she yeah. said. Mm-hmm. That's why I just said that, you know, I gave a description of all nine awards when I held up the attends. This wasn't directed toward him at all. I'm but hey, it is what it, it is what it is. Yeah, I just Ariel left him sitting there. Ariel took everything else out that chair from Ariel said he didn't need them. Oh, it's up to what May's clip. Lord have mercy. Bless, bless. This yeah, one. I've been standing on it. I just said, I, I know when I go, I said, like, I, cause I, I'm like, I'm going to be doing do? no did niggas explaining this. You excuse the white people that's on here. I'm just saying. <laughs> when my uncle was saying, it was just how he talked. Even I don't like to use that word. Like, don't be up there, no nigga explaining. I said, you got it. Just, it's, it's out there. So that's what I did, like my uncle. He just, but I know he's gonna leave me out there when I come out there. When I'll be up there, gotta talk to him. I'm like, yeah, man. It's like, like, it's like, man, ah, it's kind of rough right now, nephew. Uh? <laughs> shit. He's like, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm working for that's, you now. And the word he for the day is shit. For Every hey. time you hear the word shit, and I cringe when I, he said it out. He was like, but he was laughing mm. his ass off, though. He, he was like, that's news, baby. Oh, that brought some hope when he like they gonna be sitting at that said, space table at said, that you family. know they saw him mad at you <laughs> said, yeah <laughs> but that's like your ninth cousin once removed so it yeah, shouldn't be that bad but they watching <laughs> they said, and I thank y'all for the views too <laughs> we thank y'all if y'all do some like sharing and subscribing I don't know how the family feeling right now. A lot of people ain't ain't, ain't subscribing to all of them. That's all right. That's I all right. Them, That's I all right. Them. We good. We good. Well, shout out to ATN News Media Group once again. And the greatest producer in the world. Good old Spacely Sprocket sitting over there. AKA, the black sheep of the family. That's all right. I'm the black sheep too. Not of my family though. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Anyway. Let's give it up to Beautify. We ain't gave them a shout out in a minute. And, and it's 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 a little cool today. So I, I brought out my 810 sweatshirt. And I know a lot of y'all got them out there. Hold on, I got, I got to ask. This, this, this really came to me. Okay, go ahead. Let me let you take it. Because go ahead. Tony is like the five families. He uh, says, let me read it so then ahead. you answer it. So Mickey, why when Quincy threatened to have his family come down there, why didn't he... Why, why he don't ever point to you and say, "There go my family right there." Because I'm finna explain. It. That's why okay, I'm go so ahead and explain elegant. it. I'm finna explain it the best way I can. Mm-hmm. Because Quince, it's like the five families where we come from. Okay. Yeah, you have the Colombo, mm-hmm. 
all the different, the five families. I'm from one of them. Mm -hmm. He's from one. Mm -hmm. That's why. My side. <laughs> so technically, if the family came down there. That would you... be the ones I grew up with. But they wouldn't come after you, though. They probably would because they wouldn't know. A lot of them don't. You know You know how your granny, you know how you might uh -huh. have your granny have a brother. I think they, they know kids. you now. Oh, most definitely. He didn't told everybody on me. Mm -hmm. I think they, they know you now. me, I know. He didn't told. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Well, back to hit the banner real quick for um, www. No, nah, he, he ain't go, mad. He just hated. Beautiful. <laughs> Hate uh, uh, 18. There you go. So grab you some ATM merch. It's getting nice outside. We want everybody to have their little ATM merch, you know, tomorrow for 420 when you're going around. This must be your family. Celebrate. Says, oh, no, I got you. Uh, Blake, thanks for popping in. Oh, what happened? No. Okay. So grab you some ATM merch right there. ATM breaking news. Get your hats, shirts, t shirts, socks, shoes, everything they got on there. www. B E Y O U T I the number five dot com. Go out and grab it. So many of you have purchased merchandise already, and we appreciate it. But keep purchasing more. ATN is nationwide. Like I told you, it's a movement, not just a moment. And we only going up for here. So you better get the sweatshirts and stuff now. Why they cheat? Because you know, when we make it big time, they're gonna be like. Better believe it. T-shirts gonna, gonna be out. like three seventy five. Sweatshirts gonna be like fifteen hundred. Everything. Y'all gonna be like, damn. I wish I had one of them. I'm just saying. Oh my god! Please, when y'all do the y'all do come with them shirts, I will not be in attendance. I have somebody else in there with y'all <laughs> because the, it was <laughs> oh, classic okay. though. You still want to go back to the doo-doo. No, no, no. <laughs> I said a couple of He comments. keeps stepping deeper and deeper in the doo-doo. I'm trying to get him away from the doo-doo. Listen, it is what it is. <laughs> step, step, love. Stop. So we need some 810. What's up, Jessica? Jessica on here. My cousin, Jessica that from right Cali. There. That's that right there. Hey, Tia. That right there. Emmy 810. What they say. <laughs> yeah, Emmy, we working on that as we speak. Well, let it's Friday. It's Freestyle Friday. Put some of them comments up here, cause I got a I got an article that I need to what share with you, Mickey. Yeah. I need to I need to share this to you. No, and yo, you don't have to. Share. Yes, I got to share this to you, cause I think the people need to. What the people need to know? What the people? Cause they I'm, need I'm to see what's going hurt. on. Oh, hustled on our out of day. We found out we was free. June team, so he just, June. You know what? That's what I want to dig just, into. So he just he took our freedom and used it as a hustle. I'm done. That's why I don't. I don't. I don't go with none of this stuff. Well, since Audrey said it, so it's it's gotta have it's gotta have some validity to it because she just don't. She I don't was there though. That without was no funny rumors. Part. Damn, yeah. you was there. So yeah, you that's you. When I, that's when I was a part of. Yeah, I was the there. man that took the money from the from the from the June team. Yeah, I was there when it was a bunch of BS. This is what you talk about right here. Yes. Yeah, I was there. Yes. See, I, I I can't verify that. I'm not going. So you uh, can the very conversation well. I didn't say I never on. said since Audrey was lying. I was there. I, I never I, said I, that. I, I was there. I but hated Mickey that. is verifying that Paul didn't took the money. I, I you just said, said you was verifying. I was saying on the call that took place, but his ass was getting checked. Not that I was there. Did he say I'm sorry I took Hell the money? No, he Did sorry. he say I don't know what y'all talking about? Hell yeah. Okay, said, so you yeah. said I don't know what y'all talking about. From my understanding, then I went on the call. Okay. So finger pointing. Listen to this, that this article. All of them was pointing at Paul. Just, I just want to say this one thing, and then we're going to go back to Freestyle Friday. I got to bring this article up that was sent to me. Flint in hush-hush talks to resolve alleged violations of Safe Drinking Water Act. Oh, I'm fighting the air right now. I hope you've seen this article already. Let me read it to you. Ooh, I got my glasses on. The city is proposing to resolve allegations that it is violating the Safe Drinking Water Act through an administrative consent order with the state. But neither party, neither party has disclosed what the problems are 
or how much it would cost to fix them. City council members huddled with attorneys behind closed doors during a committee meeting on Wednesday, April 17th, before giving initial approval to the unseen agreement. Mm. A resolution authorizing the city to enter into the consent deal still requires the approval of the full council during a regular meeting. That's Monday. I didn't want to get into details, but we got some serious, serious issues facing us financially when it comes down to agreeing to consent orders. That's why I thought the CFO should have been in the damn executive session. I knew they was talking about money. I knew it. Okay. Anyway, mandating the city to follow through on a lot of these different initiatives. Third Ward Councilman Quincy Murphy said before Wednesday's vote. This is a big ask for not knowing how we're going to make this happen financially, Murphy said. I think we will be signing on to something that we won't be able to deliver on. I bet you he still vote for it Monday. It's just too many deliveries that they are asking us for that I don't think that we are in position to agree to. I just think we're in a messed up situation. Oh. I'm, I'm talking like him, but it says situation. When it comes to the water crisis itself and what they're asking us to do with no money to support it. Flint has been in violation of the Safe Drinking Water Act previously, forced to correct a potential health hazard in one case and to clean up its water testing protocols in another case. In August 2019, the, the Michigan Department of Environmental, Great Lakes, and Energy said Flint violated the SDWA by failing to test water at enough homes with lead service lines or lead plumbing fixtures, a deficiency that could have produced artificially low test results when water is tested for lead. In 2015, the city was required to notify water customers of another violation, elevated levels of chlorine byproduct known as total TTHMs, TTHMs, and they are formed when chlorine reacts with organic materials such as leaves or dirt in water when the chemicals have linked to various health. Damn. Okay, so including cancer. Yeah, because that TTHMs cause cancer. Okay, so a city spokeswoman declined to comment. I bet they did. On the, on the proposed consent order with the state on Thursday, April 18th, and the Eagle spokesman also declined to comment, saying the only thing the state is seeking achievement agreement on is achieving compliance with various issues related to Flint's public water system. M Live couldn't reach the council president, Liddell Lewis, about the issue. But both Murphy and Fort Worth or Councilwoman Judy Priestley said before the vote that they have concerns about the agreement and the city's ability to finance changes that would bring about compliance. So they don't have enough money to fix art. What they talking about? They don't have enough money to fix the water is what they saying. They blew the bag. <laughs> That's what they did. They blew the bag. Judy said. They didn't blow the bag. It's not that I don't share them. It's more that I'm more concerned about what happens if we don't sign the agreement. There are always opportunities coming up to finance changes. We found money in the past and we'll have opportunities if necessary. Listen to what Judy said. To kick it down the road a little further. Judy said we can kick this water issue down the road a little further remember in her mind the water is fixed i remember i did a show with her last year she said the water wasn't messed up it had to be the year before you went with her you didn't do no show with judy yeah. last year what was it two years when judy two was years ago, ago. she was on count with her first time on count. okay so we had she had came on this is this is during my days when i was just a little i'm still on the chitlin circuit but she said kick it down the curb because in her mind it's it's the water is not bad now, she said this. I just ain't got time to go back two years and fill it up. <laughs> Anthony Eccles made me choke on my damn coffee. <laughs> he said you need to kick her down the road a little, I'm just, a little but, bit. But I'm just saying, but these are the type of people that's going in here. This is a person 
who don't believe the water was poison anyway. Mm-hmm. She feel the water is fixed. So this is what you got going in the back doing negotiations, but go ahead. That's, that's <laughs> really it. But they don't know how they're going to get the money to fix the water issues that we still have going on 10 years later. Meanwhile, the CFO was sitting back there in his uniform, just smiling, looking around like he didn't know where the hell he was at. I don't know if that was just somebody they just found and dressed up and just bring him out when it's time for council meeting. Because he, I don't understand how you have an executive session about anything that goes on in the city. It has to be something that's tied to money. And he's sitting back there out there chilling with everybody else like, hey, how y'all doing? And they back there scratching their heads, talking about just kick it down the road a little further. We don't know how we're going to come up with the money to fix the water issues. Jessica said, yep, you can't tell me she isn't in the plot to make Flint great again by eliminating folks. You ain't lying. It's Freestyle Friday. Let's put up all the comments. Let's talk to our people today until we open up the phone lines at 10, Mickey. No, but this goes back wow. to the person. Guess Judy liked the chlorine taste in water. She probably got her a home house, uh, a whole house home filter, whatever they call. Just this. Um, being think because Obama came to Flint and took a tiny sip of water, that means the water is fixed. But you know what? We ain't never see them turn the faucet on and give him the water. I did. Right. They probably poured him. They probably the water in there. He drunk that water. He set that glass back down. And they still get up there and don't know nothing. Not but, nothing. But did you hear what Quincy said? He, because he was on this side. He going on there because he, I'm thinking, I'm getting to see, man, them people study getting money and the, and the residents ain't getting nothing. Oh, Quincy. That's what I'm saying. He going back there. <laughs> I, he should have learned when he went back there with Rodham and then when they came out. But did you see how they tried to downplay Jerry Winfrey Carter because she said she wasn't going to do the negotiation. We know what happened in the back backdoor deal. Usually when you when they go in the back door, they forget about the folks that's out there. They don't go in and negotiate for the family. That's why Flint, this money that then came through, you can see where it's going. But this my this the question I got. How is we steady sitting up here asking where the money went? If we can see the money gone, don't nobody up at the top know the money gone? Hmm. I mean, it didn't come to us. Didn't come to no regular folks, but the money somewhere actually just disappeared like that. <sighs> did that did that make any sense to you? Mm-mm. The money came here. It was here, but who counts did it go to? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's even like with the 94 million. That 94 million, 94.7 came here. How much did the residents get? See that? Nothing. Mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All you do is put residents versus 501c3s and put the 94.7 million up there. And that should tell you all you need to know. Like, they, you know, I, I know. What else we got? No, I was reading what Tony said. What Tony said? Ooh. Y'all need to hear, but not listen to Judy when she's reserved about spending money. What she's really saying is, I don't know if Sheldon would need this money for his war chest. And my entire reason for being here is to protect Sheldon Neely's war chest. And that's my opinion. But they were also talking about something. I don't know if I wrote it down the other day because I didn't I didn't actually get the clear understanding. Maybe it's not on this paper. Oh, well, but did y'all hear them talk? Okay. Our letter. This goes back to administrations and $800 million later. Damn. Now the state and the EPA wants to state the water isn't safe again. Last year, they were also yelling the water was safe. You don't know who to trust. You ain't lying. You not lying because they telling us the water is safe to drink with a filter. But then they say the water is testing straight from the tap lower than it's ever been before. Yeah, so why y'all still, still giving poison. out filters? Right. <laughs> but it's still poison. 
Uh, but it what are they testing for? It just ain't that much poison, but you're still going to get something if you keep drinking. That is some of the craziest. Somebody tagged that uh, crazy ass Arthur Woodson. One thing he do know is he know about that water. Yeah, man. Is he in here? Because are they just really still looking for lead because it's a lot of other stuff that's in the water besides lead? They just told us in this article that causes cancer and stuff. And Judy said, just kick it down the road a little bit more. I guess he's saying you can kick your life down the road. And that's right, Stephanie. That's right. That's exactly right. Everybody that's telling you it's safe ain't drinking it. Yeah, that's a good point there. <laughs> what did Emmy ATN say? <laughs> Congressional Black Caucus Chair Bax. Holler holier over what? Sheree Thander. Sheree. Shari Thander. Yeah. Who is that? We said someone had to go in and endorse me. He should never. <laughs> so the black, the Congressional Black Caucus is not endorsing Neely's campaign? Who is endorsing his campaign besides himself? Uh, he's a Detroit congressman. I, I'm, I'm, I, heard of the, I heard of that name, that Shuri Nanny or something. Because then he tried to run for governor or mayor of Detroit or something like that. Well, who is endorsing Neely's campaign? The article states something different. The, this total deception from all involved, massive cover-up and corruption See? at the highest level. You ain't lying, our lips. See, I can't tell you. Ain't lying. Ain't lying. Yeah, and, and that's true, Tony. You, we know you're going to give it to us straight. I, I do know about that water. He didn't know about that damn water. That's the councilman. The councilwoman, he said, okay. It says, Holly is black man challenging him. Mm. Beverly Big said that 40 million they put in the general fund. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like this. But do you like how they but see this is when you get this uh -huh. is uh -huh. hold on, hold on. Just hold I'm sorry to interrupt you. Just this. Put that up there. Put that up there. Put that up there. Put it up there. Man, who <laughs> it's other stuff in the water, but it should go through a water station where they check it. That's the only part I want to read. I can curse you out now. Ain't that where Candace work at? The water I was, lab. I, when you cut me up, that's where I just went. To. I was finna That's go what to. you was about to say. Great, say great minds over think here. Like. No, it don't. No, it don't. You had to read it. I already thought it. What else was you going to say then, Space? No, nah, I'm on to the next subject. Candace work at the uh, aqueduct. Water lab. I heard her with my own ears till Eva though. She, don't he know that's my job when she's trying to get that three hundred thousand nah, dollars? That's that's what I'm saying. When they seeing him doing this, and you got a Liddell like shit, they still we're gonna get ours. Remember she told Tanya they was getting their money. Uh -huh. uh -huh. She said it out loud up there. But did you notice that the administration ain't want to jump on this? Mm -mm. But Liddell, so who I really running? Why? Yeah. But that but what but, but why? Let's put on our critical She thinking. said no, that's a private lab, but did you see what 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 ME eight ten said Kildy leaving that seat is major. Lake Finesse control Congress congressman for decades. Now it's going to be a woman in Bay City. But but I thought the little guy downstairs oh, it's a private lab. Okay. But I thought the little guy downstairs in City Hall was such friends with the guys on Lake Fitton. They ain't throwing you no more fundraisers at the Epperson this time, are they, buddy? Okay, this is what Emmy said. Candace don't work anywhere. Fake no show non profit jobs and bezeling scams. Okay. <laughs> and Megan Smith said, Isn't the Water Lab FDC thing Flint Development Center? Tell me, we don't know. We don't even, I mean, they just put stuff up there saying how much money you're going to get and where it's going to. They don't give no detail of what is what they supposed to do. Meanwhile, we are still looking for the damn Kennedy Center cleaners. Has anybody made contact with the Kennedy Center cleaners yet? 
Cause it's the grass is growing. Um, we almost at cutting season, though. We almost. we are at cousin cutting cousin. <laughs> we are at cutting season. Okay, we are cutting cutting season. So I, I want to tell everybody the third war, and I'm talking out there. Clack said yes, yes about what? Clack, you talk to the Kennedy Center cleaners. Put up Angela's thing. You got you got it. You supposed to be putting up the comments. We it's Freestyle Friday. On the EPA's be getting cussed out Friday. On the EPA's <laughs> website, their advice to Flint residents is to continue using filters, and residents with health conditions should limit their use of tap water and talk to their doctor. Damn, it sounds like you uh you can drink the water in Flint, Michigan, and the two people is holding hands, running through the fields, and side effects may cause cancer, dizziness, diarrhea, constipation. Uh, asthma, blackout, faint smells, uh, shitty bowels may cause you to wear it depend. I mean, it's just like all of these side effects you get from drinking Flint water. Now, here, here comes the kicker. It's getting hot again. Legionella. Oh, MEA10 said ain't. I don't know what MEA10 said because it, it's gone off the screen. They coming in like hot water. I will say this again. Water is a billion dollar business. That's why there's so many private entities attempting to work with the government to build private water plants. Mm -hmm. And just like just like um President Olive told us last night from the International Martin Luther King Leaders Group. They got it done in Benton Harbor. They getting it done in Highland Park or have is has Highland Park done with they fixing their stuff. They got it done in Jackson, Mississippi for 10 years. And it's like they could have did like a block at a time in Flint because there ain't that many houses here. And again, fixing the little service lines, because I, I heard Art say yesterday he was tired of calling them lead lines. He's not even saying it's service lines. But you had all of this contaminated water go through all the pipes in your house, messing up hot water, uh, tanks, washing, washing machines, just pipes, faucets, everything. But they fixed that one little service line and said, oh, is we done? Meanwhile, in Saginaw, they done gave them everything but a brand new house. And now you see all of that um, clack posted. I shared it in Reboot. They got this multi-billion dollar project they about to renovate Saginaw with. But you got to keep the poor poor. Because if you, that's that's how the money keeps coming in. They're not trying to sustain Flint, have people where they can take care of themselves. Then when the money be coming in for them to grab. But it's just crazy. Yeah, it's terrible. According to Candace's job website, the Flint Lab hosts regular door-to-door -door literature drops to neighborhoods throughout Flint to ensure residents are informed about the impacts of lead exposure. I ain't seen them. You see Stephanie said if you're on the sixth ward northern neighborhood of the Legionella hotspot. You ain't lying. You ain't lying, because I know. Look, two men stay directly across the street on a street right on Ballinger Highway. Both got the same type of cancer. One died, the other one's still fighting. And when you go to the doctor now in Flint, shit, you already had stage four. Just had your complete physical last year and was fine. You go back for your physical this year, you had stage four already. What Clack say? And the city has the nerve to red tag hot water heaters and furnaces. Can't get your house inspected because the inspector is too busy looking at old ass closed up schools. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. But Mickey, Mickey, can I get the comments up here? You just read one. I know, but put the phone down. He's over no, no, there, he's no, trying no, to no, comment. No, 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 he's trying no, no, no. over there trying to comment with y'all in the chat. 
black trauma, poor white trauma is big business in the U.S. And yes, Neely can get 75000 and just put it in increments. You don't have to come to the council. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, I get it, but it's terrible on what's going on. Yeah, uh, and y'all was just finna say that. They say Dennis recall language at one thing. She just wanted to, she wants to put that out again. Damn. It did. Yeah, it went through. I mean, what's that? You can see all you had to do is just say he he Dennis was sitting down. Is it clear and factual? Was Dennis sitting down? You know, they they playing all type of games. I didn't think it would. You know, this wasn't gonna happen. But see, but they gotta go to the. All right, Mickey. What's what's the breakdown again for the recall? The wards. I'm lost. I, to be honest with you, I'm lost. Know. If you fighting for the people, your ass is in trouble. So if you if you're going for the big businesses and five on one five on one C threes, you good. How'd that break down work for you? I mean, we in trouble. They don't they didn't work too good for me. I've been telling you that. But that's all right. We got Ray Ray and Pookie on our side. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I do believe we need new people in because basically I'm just gonna break it down to you. You ain't finna change the people who are already running Flint. Beverly Barnes, facts. Yeah, we, you ain't finna change. You ain't finna change how this system being ran. I'm waiting for you to get done talking before I cut you off. Keisha Denise said, "Okay, so y'all seen the other day where we had county cl- the county clerk Dominique Clemens sitting here explained it in great detail that it was mass confusion and he's reached out to the state. Now we already been to one little shindig that Davina had over there. What was that at First Union?" Now Liddell putting on another one. You seen the flyer? Uh, the county, no, the the Flint, the city clerk is going to explain the war situation. She the one fucked it up. Excuse me, what'd messed it this? up. Did you see this right here? The lady who did it was bragging about it, and she works for Mott. But Davina, what is Davina going? Where's James at? A, put an APB out for James Cochran and Lottie. To come to the front of the room. That's what she kept saying. I need Lottie and Rich and the rest of them to come to the to the front of the room. But you see, the, the lady she said she kept saying her views are not the views of her employer. Hmm. Mm. That's interesting. Davina couldn't even explain to us nothing when we was over there at that church at First Union. So what is she about to miraculously come up with now? They got her hands tied behind her back. What they dangling that eighty thousand dollars over her head? Yeah, they dangling her job know. over her head. So what's she about to come clear up when her office was the one that sent out the two cards, the voter registration cards that she said they they shouldn't have been sent out? Who gave approval for the cards to be sent out? Not once, but twice uh, from your office, Satan. <laughs> Seriously, this I, I believe that they what's the word deliberately caused this confusion yeah. for this recall elections that's coming. That's through. why that clerk office need to be the police need to be up in that clerk's office. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Ain't no sense to keep playing it. This goes back. Thank to, you, Tia. Hey, well, no, I see what you were saying. Hey, well, no, in here. Hey, A10 Flint. Did I say A10? Yeah. You said A10. I see what you've been saying. You made me lose my train of thought. I can't stand you. You just I said A10. I see what you're saying. I, I was looking at um fires because I lost my train of thought when they was talking about this. But I'm looking at how this thing gets ran. You you really can't change what is going on. That ain't facts. Yes, but but Dennis already had called it. Said this is voter suppression. But guess who going along? No, I know what it was. Going back to the Liddell Lewis. I was talking about Emmy 810. Okay, well, keep talking about it. Can you put up that other comment about the, in the news yesterday in California, what they did out there in Cali? Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. Uh, 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 right there, Nikki. In news yesterday, California regulators have set the nation's first drinking water limit for a hexavalent chlorium aiming to reduce long-term health risks. 
Well, this is why I want to get back to what I was talking about. With the Liddell situation, this was up under the Inez Brown. When she was the, uh, what was she, the uh, clerk, right? Davina job. This my thing with that. They knew Liddell didn't stay here. Damn. Sister Muhammad brought it up that it wasn't right. She wasn't there living for no 12 months. She wasn't here the whole year. The clerk office got that. But then you heard, but the clerk office said they got it from the state certified or said it was good. Mm-hmm. State. This would, this would, they was, Sister Muhammad then was, I mean, Sister Audrey was told. So how, if, if if they can just go through, I mean, I know people are lying, but if a person is willing to say this, because now it's out here, you know what I'm saying? They say, well, I mean, what's the problem? They want to go back and get her, because ain't that lying what she did when she signed that paper and said she was running? Ain't that, for, I mean, uh, perjury. perjury. Because then he read, then Dominique, uh, Clerk Clemens tell us that, that affidavit you have to sign it says like it was at the end that legal language in there all statements are true I signed this but that blah, goes blah, blah, back blah, blah. to when Allie Hoken wrote her purging herself she ain't in jail and the judge said yeah she ain't in jail but this 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 is the stuff that we go that's what I'm saying when you poor you got they got laws of people with money and they got laws of people who don't have money that's very true I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? And they got laws for people that's black. Then they got laws for people that's white. So. And they show us every week when we go to council meeting how it's done. Now, I ain't picking on nobody. But y'all didn't heard us talk about, what was it, last month at the meeting? Gladys brought her whole crew down there. Whole crew. Whole row of white people. Acting out, saying whatever they want to say, they ain't getting out. One, how many warrants they get, Mickey? Shit, many as they want. No, no, Mickey, Mickey, pay, put the phone down, Mickey. Pay no, attention. Always, how many warrants did the white folks get back there in at council? Uh, okay, he not paying attention. They ain't getting out one warning. Because I, I got some sense. But the lady that was clapping got put out. No. About she got Mack. handcuffed. Talk about Kawanda Mack, right? Kawanda Mack okay. got I'm, handcuffed because she was clapping. You can't do that in the Flint. What they showing, the they showing everything that May said is coming to light. Every single thing. What you posting now? Oh, uh, no, I, I ain't put it up here yet. I was just, I was looking at. Oh, she was just showing this the lady to put it in on Dennis. Damn, I don't know why it's froze. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that Lisa Patchberg. Oh, yeah. She filed a recall petition against Dennis. But I wonder, did she file it for personal reasons? Because she was employed by his brother at Blackstone's. That's just a little fun fact that I thought people would like to know. You know, she was employed down there at Blackstone. So I, I would say she's doing this personally. It's, it's personal. I do accept this. I mean, I ain't going to do it after the show. That's why it's not. Uh, I got to update it. The one let me enlarge it. Lisa, what's her name? Padge, Padge a ball. Padge or something. Padge or something. Personal, personal. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, listen, if you didn't think this was going to get what down. Did I say? Did I say that article? Keep going, Mickey. I'm just listen, If you don't think this, if you don't think this is personal on what's going on, if you don't think the mayor not trying to, listen, he loved this super majority. He, don't you know right now they finna do a, um the budget? He he feel like he got no worries right now. Who you gonna sit up there of the six that he got? No, even worse than not gonna sit up there. Oh, it's, I think it's an excellent budget. He can come on there with a three minute cartoons like he usually do, and she say, "Oh, that was excellent." Not explain nothing. I'm I'm gonna vote yes. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be honest. War one not gonna say nothing. War two not gonna say nothing. War three not gonna say nothing. Four ain't gonna say nothing. All you're going to get is five, six, and eight. 
you got one to four and seven and nine. They're not mm-hmm. finna question him about if he doing anything right or not. You see it now. I mean, it's cold-blooded. It is what it is. But you ain't finna see number what you is going to see is if somebody get mad, they don't get what they want. This how this this how this group going to fall right. out. Right. Like how you saw Candace, that 300000 she didn't get what she wanted. Mm-hmm. Now, believe this, because it took two votes to cancel that, right? Mm-hmm. What would make the he? I mean, I'm just saying, y'all look at this. He voted no on that. Did he get a call or get told, no, nah, don't mess with that? He was voting yes on everything else. Um, so why he wouldn't vote on that? I don't know. It's suspicious. I'm saying y'all got to look. It's at, weird. Look at all this stuff that's being played. Look at everything to be played. And then I wonder, was they just. In all, putting on my critical thinking hat, was they just doing a good cop, bad cop for the viewers and the cameras? Because they had six people there. They had six yes votes, okay? Yeah. Once he told us we have our votes, he, he stated that. That's a fact, okay? He stated we have our votes. So the questions and stuff that Quincy was asking, do you, the viewers, think? That they were sincere, or was he just playing the bad cop because they already had their votes for everything to go through? Because you know we had talked about that, but I thought that you know they was gonna let Leon vote with everybody else to make him look like he was on the side of right. But it happened. Now you see, they they already in campaign mode. Oh yeah, because the mayor the mayor at... got his little thing. He had oh, him too. They had Leon up there. But it's a vote for me for the some of the stuff that they doing. I said, look at it. I, I mean, it. he rolling out everything that he doing over there in the first yeah, war. I said, that's what's up. I looked at that. I saw, yeah, it's campaign season. When I seen that vote for me for the first war, I said, oh, okay. Then we, then we, yeah, so you know what's going to go on. Mm. Okay, here we go. Quita said and he got straight shitted on. Angie said it was a skit. Um... Patrick Jean said Quincy was playing around. Watch the vote. Yeah. Talia said, I truly think it was a show. Even, even the administration part with Ed Taylor, they have to make it seem like it's a no non-illegal activity. Because Liddell did so say that. She's like, I don't want to say that. Like, we making it like it's shady. Yes, it was. You brought that right back up after that got voted down. Quincy will vote yes for Candace. Thing when all of them vote for that Flint grocery store, and they ain't gonna vote for the store. <laughs> What's up, Doctor Bucko Granny? <laughs> she said it's a rhetorical question. Yes, went to an act. We need to file recall language on the mayor. Oh, let's pin that comment. Let's pin it, Sister Audrey. Now, I wonder. Why ain't none been filed yet? Now that's why I'm seriously putting on my hmm. Why ain't no recall? Things that make you go hmm. Why hasn't any recall language been filed to this day on him? I mean, they filed it on everybody else. Weaver, now they're saying it costs money to file recall language. Since when? They filed it on, on Mayor Stanley. And his went honest. through. They filed it on Weaver. But they will not file no recall language on me. Help me understand that, Mickey. Easy. It's, you said it's easy. I'm, I'm missing something. Who want to get rid of them? <laughs> Who want to get rid of them? Well, it's, it seems like the residents do. But that's the thing. The rest there ain't enough of them that want to get rid of them. Well, Clack said we can't even get a council member uh, recall. Ain't no way we could get enough signatures in a citywide recall. I think you would be more successful in a citywide recall than you would just but limiting you, yourself to one. In my opinion, and to limiting limiting yourself to one war. So much language to recall it. That's unreal. Right. 
He lied about his degree, period. Mm -hmm. Angie said it's a lot of language to use against him. Campaigns cost money. Yes, I do. Oh, that comment gone. I can't read the rest of it. And it's a stodger, you're right. No, it don't cost that kind of can that comment gone too. It don't cost the file. Need to audit that 1.5 million mayor's office annual budget and PCAR fraud. You sound you sound like Mickey. <laughs> what the tia say? If you can't get the little fish, how you gonna get the big hmm. fish? Strategy has to be involved. That's true. And your strategizers have to actually want to get the big fish because it's a lot of people saying that they want the big fish gone. That's reporting back to the big fish what the little swimmers is saying. But this is what you keep forgetting with the weaver situation. Who was coming at the weaver? Everybody. Who? Everybody. People with the money, right? Yeah. Ain't no people with the money coming at the name. They ain't coming after him, but they showed and separated themselves from him for what I can see. They want him to stay in Flint to do what he's been doing. What they want him to right. do? Well, hell, they didn't got everything. Right. And they're going to replace him. He just don't see it. Or what, he do see it. What was that it. comment? I had wanted to read it. Whatever it was that you put up there, it's gone. Which they coming in hot. I know they coming in fast. Every time Candace job hits the agenda, she needs to disclose it. Not everybody knows what I do since day one. Last time I was home, I was acting out of order, telling number two, stay, say with what the resolution is about. Right. Or Woodrow, weren't you there that day when they had brought in six add-on resolutions in the open meeting and nobody knew what it was about? Nobody? Don't even make no sense. Um. We were nearly two sides of the same coin. Useful, <laughs> useful idiots to Lake Finn interest. Damn. That was tough. That's very tough. I guess Emmy 810 gave it out on both sides. Emmy 810. I mean, you damn. Okay. Um Yes. Let me make sure I'm open them up. I can't even find them. Do 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 do. A ten. 207-5058. The phone lines are open. Let's talk this morning. Oh. <laughs> Stanley recall was the start of the takeover. Yep, it was. So the reason I can't get under yeah, 200. Yeah, Angie. He over there <laughs> eating. The reason I can't get under 200. <laughs> he over there eating. Tia said, it's a lot of people saying a lot of things on these podcasts, but lying. Damn, it's gone. But lying behind the scene, Winters, you're absolutely correct. Oh, God, I can't. Hold on. Good morning, Carly. You've been bumped in. What's your name and where you calling from? In St. Louis. St. Louis, baby. We missed you. You got the floor. Okay. Okay. Uh, Paul, Paul, he needs to stop. Paul needs to be charged for stealing and lying on RL and taking his money that he set up for his GoFundMe. Mm. That's what Paul needs to be. He needs to be in jail. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And Lydell, how you going to put that much energy and call them about that woman hitting him when uh, what's that fat ass worthy? Mm -hmm. Set her and hit that woman when she was up at the coast. So did I forget? So did hit Jasmine. She sure did. You put so much damn energy in calling them for her, but you couldn't call them for that fat motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all need to quit with that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Quincy, like I said yesterday, you need to stop. Mm -hmm. You are already gone. What's the word for the day? <laughs> Quincy? Shit. I'm just saying. What's the word for the day, Quincy? Shit. And Mickey. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry about the family. I ain't, I ain't going to that side no more anyway. I'm good. You are with your father. Because they, they going to fucking find out who that motherfucker really is. <laughs> right. <laughs> you ain't lying. And, um. You put up some of the things. Hey, Kevin, she do. She sit up there and do her little sneaky shit, too. Yeah. Y'all need to quit. That, that, that other bitch, well, I don't oh. call the man a bitch, but that other motherfucker. Mm. <laughs> Same um, thing. <laughs> she's number one. Just asking to be up there. I said, if you was in that damn boy that it didn't nobody fucking know about. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be up there. Mm -hmm. But see, this is what is so damn fucking corrupt. I mean, corrupt. But I blame also y'all local dudes people. Because it's they asses that need to be covering the story. You mean to tell me they can't cover no damn story unless nearly tell them, oh, I need you to do this? Hmm. So, okay. You are corrupt. Right. You are corrupt. You are because corrupt. Because if you lose local news media, if somebody gets shot out there, your ass covering that, how come you can't get your ass out there and cover how... How they stealing? Hmm. Cause they don't want to. That ain't no good What's look. Y'all stealing too. Uh, he putting out stuff saying that crime is down, and we've collected so many guns, and we've done this, and we've done that. Nearly has life. Nearly ain't nothing but the devil himself. Cause he's a liar. He's a liar. And it's so. Damn, say that them residents can't see that shit. Cause I could have sworn months ago, I said I'm gonna go out and get signatures for for, for Neil. Now that's what he said. You go back and look at the tape. Okay. But is they just corrupt? Well, what you think about the new guy after yeah. watching him uh, Wednesday? He's a big ass liar. He didn't even say nothing. No. He's he gonna side with them. Like I say, he shouldn't be up there because you was on something that wasn't even legal. I agree. You on a on a committee that wasn't legal. So why are you there? Yep. He was on the, he was on what she's referring to. A lot of people that don't know, um, the councilman in the first ward, the new, the new selected councilman in the first ward was on the ARPA committee. He was a part of that 12 member illegal ARPA committee. So you on that committee giving out money that you ain't even supposed to. That's why I don't understand why they want to give Ernst and Young some more money when they had a committee. Why would they want to give any of them out? They already gave money to. Yes, I guess Flint is just free money for the power of one C three and friends and family. Fuck the residents. Right. And that's the end. But until they wake up, until they wake up and get them out of their seats, I really 
He needs to be gone. Like I said, when that bitch drunk his ass up in there, he should have been trying to get that damn water together now. I guarantee you, if they do another news conference, his ass ain't going to drink it. That's true. Yeah, I come up there and give him a glass of that damn water. <laughs> hey, don't drink it. Don't drink a little bit. Drink the whole damn thing. Yeah. I don't need to. We don't, they don't need you to take a sip or act like you're drinking it. Yeah. Like I said, this is that movie. Turn my bitch. Do your problem. Because Mary Neely, them lawyers, they don't give a shit about nothing about y'all. They killing y'all. Yeah. You're right. They killing you. But they getting money out. They getting money killing you though. They, sure they getting is. some money killing your ass. Someone else. Y'all need to wake up. That's, just... That's true. That's true, St. Louis. Hold on. Let me let me let me hold on. There's somebody said, do we okay. know who was making up the ad hoc uh uh teams? When Mays was first got when this new council came about, Mays was elected president of the Flint City Council. And he selected members on council to serve on different ad hoc teams. They dismantled all of them except for the ARPA one that he set up for Judy and Liddell. And he said instead of everybody doing it, he set up that ad hoc committee for them to go and work with administration, review the review the, you know, the applications. And they were supposed to report back to council. Shit. They got rid of May's ass as president and took over. Judy's a damn liar. And Adele, you know, she a terrific liar. <laughs> right. So, Mays was probably trying to do something that he thought that can help the people. But if he had a known, would he know before he passed, he probably wouldn't even put them on there. See, so remember when they got caught with this money, this, this candy money that she came show receipts to she sat there and said no I didn't ask for money I drove she now she drove she in the car driving with with the uh what is that bank who when she got the money from La Dea Cyrus Park the one that gave yeah no uh the, the people that gave her the money oh Ashley Capital yeah now she the one that said that said she was in the, in the car uh, driving them somewhere, and I didn't ask her for you a bitch, you a damn ass motherfucking lie. Cause I guarantee you, that's the first fucking thing that came out your damn mouth. Mm -hmm. You asking for some damn money? You can say what the fuck you want to say. But I guarantee you, I can say what I want to say and don't know for sure, but God know for sure. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. you, you can, you can say, oh, she lying, she lying. I dare you, double dog dare you to mm -hmm. say God lying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she did. She said that. Oh, I didn't ask me. They asked me. They, they told me. You're right. Okay, AT, I got to get you to wrap it up. We got some more callers. I just want to let you talk a little longer because we ain't heard from you all week and we missed you. Blessed weekend. Huh? Have a blessed weekend. You too, and sweetheart. Nikki, like I said, Nikki, um, fuck that side of the family. <laughs> I think he pretty much got that memo. I, I talk, I talk to you up Monday. All right, have a good one, baby. Right, okay, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Phone line still open eight ten two zero seven fifty fifty eight. 5058 Don't forget today is Friday. Today we got a whole lineup eight ten day. 
One o'clock, we got Trevor's Rent. Five o'clock, we got Community Conversation with Carolyn Clack. And then don't forget, 610 to 710 on 8-10. We got Sister Circle with Honor from the DMV and myself. Good morning, Carla. You've been bumped in. What's your name and where you calling from? How y'all doing? This is Rich Jones. What's up, Rich Jones? Hey, hey, hey. Mr. 2026, he gonna get in the mix and win some of this. How y'all doing this morning? <laughs> What's up, Rich? What's going on there, Mr. 2026? I got a question to ask y'all right quick. Okay, what? Are I got... we gonna let? Because I'm cool with it because it's so close to the May election, mm-hmm. and it look like the Vina is about to do something to contact the registered voters, the eligible voters. It's not registered voters anymore. It's eligible voters. You you think uh, you think wait a minute, are, are wait a minute. Let- Rich, Rich, hold on. You mm-hmm. think because the Dell put her name on a flyer that she and she about to speak that that's she about to do something. That's what that's about. Yeah, man. The same thing. I was, I, I, was, it was a, I was calling for I, you to I, come. I, 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 heard, I heard about a different meeting that's supposed to be Wednesday or something. That's that that's the same meeting. Man, yes, Liddell said, come hear the city clerk talk about, you know, just because we had Dominique on the other day, now they're going to have Davina speak. But she the one caused all the damn, her office caused all the confusion. Now, what's she going to tell us different that she didn't tell us up at First Union? Besides, I don't know. But the, 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 my problem of it is, we already here now. The only way we can recover from getting here is for them to contact those eligible voters. But they won't do it, Rich. They, this is by design. You, you, just, you just had, was it, was it, was it yesterday or, or Wednesday, Dominique just said, yeah. what's the best that they could do? They put a website up. What we do? Yeah. And he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. Uh, and I understand all of that, but if we're going, if it, the only way to solve this problem is to make sure that every eligible voter knows he's an eligible voter and there's an election. There's no other way to fix it. Well, we got to find there's out no what day this meeting it. is. And, I, and it was stated clear, and that's my first time ever having Davina roll her eyes at me. And I really feel bad, but I had to say what I said on the thing. If you send out two voter registrations, you need to be sending out five letters letting people know what's going on. You shouldn't be able to make no no verbal statement to to, to explain a mistake like that. Mm-hmm. Just like you sent those cards out, you should be sending out letters. That's right. Let's check the Vena. And then that's and then and, 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 and she's caught between a rock and a super hard place and we just but she's accountable for all of her employees. And her employees has been messing up elections for years. That's why we had nine people running as write in candidates. It's our our city been messed up for years and the, our voting situation, I'm just going to keep it real. It's a bunch of pump faking because mm-hmm. the side that ain't in control, all they got to do is convince a thousand people to change their mind. Yeah. The side that in control, oh, only thing we got to do is keep 500 of y'all. We can lose five, but if we lose a thousand, we in trouble. But we can let five of y'all go. And trust me, then a lot of people then then shifted from it because you you can't continue to take care of everybody. This it, it, it was a lot of people went on. Um, we were talking about the recall. Let me tell y'all why the re- recalls ain't going through. Oh, yeah. you're, you're 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 too cheap. They're too cheap. You it it it, it, it to have to have a good successful recall. It must be financially backed and it must have somebody that 
really know how to communicate with people that knock on doors. And they got to have backing, financial backing. Mm -hmm. The proof is in the pudding that the financial backing is missed. And and this is a fact because it, it requires way more signatures to recall a mayor than it do a councilwoman in the second ward. I get it, but they done but it in the past. You have, failed, you have failed to get the numbers required. You can't even get enough people to go out and get the signatures for it's two times you went out against Adele Lewis and the last time I had very little to do with it, thank God. But you have failed twice. And you still on the same memo with Quincy. And and if it wasn't for AC Dumas, you would have failed three times. Because he came out the last day and got three sheets of paper that was very much needed. Mm-hmm. And with the weather born like it is, we can't call the, uh, the ultimate all call for Quincy. Hell, it may rain for the next 10, 10 20 days. And you, don't, and you barely got people getting signatures. Every day counting the recall when you don't got nobody doing nothing. Mm-hmm. And you and, and, and you don't have a top-notch coordinator. It's all about coordination in this. Because you heard what uh, Dominique said about if two people sign the petition that the city not counting it. Mm-hmm. That's true. You said it. He said it, but that's so why you got, got you got to have people like people get tired they get and they get burnt out. They you can't have the same the people head. doing it all the time, Rich. I guarantee that group of people, if they really want Pfeiffer, I guarantee they got a better plan than what been than what we all have been witnessing. If they really want Pfeiffer. Or they they may have just been filing petitions that just to show okay that we can throw a little weight on you. Or maybe they like, well, if we lose these elections, hell we we'll get him out of there that way we still got our five. Right. Oh, we'll see. So we so we don't know, but the bottom of the line is put the money where your mouth is. That's true. We got eighty year old women out there getting Signatures that should be at home cooking and doing everything but getting signatures. But they are knocking doors. Okay, I'm gonna need you to wrap up, have, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up. We only have one person 30 or under getting signatures. That that don't sound good. It was way more people active getting signatures for Karen Weaver than what we have now. But once again. The coordination and what the coordinator had to work with may be much different than what we have now. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for calling in. We got some more news to report. All right, right you're on. very welcome. Okay, now pay attention to this flyer we're about to put up on the screen, Rich, and we'll talk to you later. All right. Okay, bye bye. Now look, this this fly, I can't even see what it's. Let me see. I can, you ain't got to make it no bigger because I'm sure they can see it on their phone lines. I can just right here. Hold on, we got another caller. The caller two to decline. Press one to start. The caller two to decline. Press one to start. The call will start at the beep. Hold on one second, caller. So this uh-huh. flyer that we just put up, this came from Liddell Lewis, and she said the resident spoke. And the city clerk, listen, come out and get informed about the elections process. Now, remember, A-10 recorded the last one that she did. We didn't get too much information. Join Clerk Donahue as she answers questions and give pertinent information about our upcoming elections. Hashtag Flintstrong. Hashtag leading the change. Office of the city clerk informational meeting topic elections thursday april 25th 2024 from 12 noon to 1 30 in the city council chambers hosted by davina donahue 
Now, I want, they said she's going to be answering questions and listening to your concerns. Mm. Y'all get y'all questions ready because we really need to know if your office sent out, why did your office send out two voter registrations cards that you said was supposed to be in effect mm -hmm. to 2026? So are you going to send out something else to correct that? Maybe she should send that out before she have this meeting since you're listening. And Davina, I, I, I really don't know what to say right now. I know they holding your job over your head. But at some point, you got to ask somebody for help. People can't help you if, if we don't know nothing. Okay, Carly, you've been bumped in. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Quita from Tennessee. What's up, Quita? Hell yeah, we going to that meeting. Okay, go ahead, Quita. What's up? How y'all doing this morning? Quita, we on fire. I'm just, you should be. This is what I'm going to I'm going to just speak on it because since you brought that up and then I say what I was really calling in the say. I think it's a bunch of poppycock. It made this word because it's really funny that after y'all had the Genesee County uh, say it. clerk say it all of, a, all of a sudden you hear comes Davina and I'm just going to speak it. Davina is shady. And I was telling my, when I first laid eyes on her with, with Miss Inez Brown, there's something about her that ain't straight to me. Because every time somebody asks her something, she don't know how it happened. Well, how come you don't? How come you don't? And who's to say people haven't been trying to... Um, Call, do recalls for the mayor, but just like she lost the six, six, six pages of signatures of the last recall, how we know they not doing it with him? <laughs> I mean, they doing a lot of shady stuff. You got a point. Shady uh, I mean, you just have to really, yeah, they, they're doing, so how do you know that people hadn't really been trying to get a recall going for Needley, and they just scrapped it. The only reason why they didn't scrap the, the recalls that Miss Bell and other people have been putting out, because Miss you know, Miss Bell is staying on top of it. Yeah. So they do the crookedness with hand delivering, because even he got on there and said that the pages that they had did not match what was turned in. But, but you see, that's so, what, yeah. I mean, it's messed up, but it is what it is when you're dealing with this stuff. Hello? You still in Quita? He was out of line because you sitting up there watching her laughing while she getting people. They handcuffed yeah. Miss Kawana and she sitting up there thinking it's a joke. Then she didn't even, she was not even paying attention to Paul and Miss Taylor. She was not. He just saw something and just like a liar and a gaslighter. A gas lighter, he pours a match and made that go all over. And they made that lady leave. And Paul called that lady out of her name. Yeah, that's cold blooded, right there. You know, so should nobody be surprised by what Paul do? Because look how he's been ripping RL off for years. He lied on Eric May around this time last year, or maybe up in June. So there you have it. And so you're dealing with a poor community. So they playing off of that because they figuring a lot of these citizens don't have the money it takes to really put in where they could get somebody who really got the power to help them do something. 
And so you got people like Neely and Liddell, and I'm going to just speak on Quincy. Now, you're in politics. Maybe the person shouldn't have got up and said what they said, but you're in politics. So you're not going to get a positive feedback all the time. You're just not. You got to get out of your feelings, and you should have been speaking to the question. The question, and I'm going to say this, and I'm just going to say it. I'm going to just be for real about it. Say it. Y'all want people to respect y'all, but when the residents was up there talking to y'all about real issues, the only one that was paying attention was Jerry Winfrey Carter. The only one. The only one. Yep. So, and I, yeah, so Quincy, he flexed, and then Pardon my French, you flex and call yourself trying to flex with Jerry Winfrey Carter, and they literally shitted on you. But I thought all of it was a little minstrel show to try to make the public think that y'all really ain't rolling with six, and we already know y'all. And mm-hmm. let's talk about Brother Leon. Don't know you from a can of paint, but something about you ain't white. I said it. Some about you is not right. Because how you have been appointed to be at the first ward, you don't have questions, you don't do a dialogue, you don't fight. It's either yes, no, or, or I'll abstain. Yes, no, or I'll abstain. Yep. Yes, no, or I'll abstain. That's just it. So the first ward is used to having a vocal advocate for them. And it's a, and it's mighty funny that everything that Councilman May fought for to get done in his ward, all of a sudden, now that he's in the ward, y'all trying to do this stuff. This is not a coincidence, y'all. This this administration and the council, the majority of them, is corrupted. They're doing a bunch of backdoor deals. They're doing a bunch of dirty work. And everybody is trying to cover everybody's trust and they falling apart. Mm-hmm. They're literally like Candace. They have no respect for Quincy. Y'all see it in person. So, but I'm seeing it from what I'm watching. They think you are, they think he's a dummy, don't know nothing, and they're not gonna tell you nothing because they feel like you're the weakest link and you're gonna tell on them, which you do. Because you pretty much like that, that clip y'all showed the day you had uh, Dominique on there. The same thing happened that council meeting. But I think it's a shame. And I'm just going to say, you cannot have the same people fighting all the time. You got to have a mass of people to let you know that, hey, we're sick of this. We're tired of it. You know, and just like... I want to ask y'all a question. How come Paul could sit on the front row, but y'all can't? We can. We was on the front row. No, I'm talking about he had his camera, though, his phone. We was, he was recording. We be up there you on the front row? Not yet. That oh, ain't, but that, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, they ain't put that into effect but yet. What I'm, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Then let you know he's getting something. So... But what I'm saying, you got a chief of police, you got a fire chief, and he got a towel that's a regular towel. And that's why you hear all the popping in the stuff, because he he frying a bath towel. But nobody says anything, but you're talking about a tripod, and you got a whole fire hazard on the side of the room. So what I'm saying is, it's no surprise. It's no surprise that the recall, and it wouldn't surprise me if some of the little crooked council didn't have nothing to do with pepping their recall up for dinner. It just don't. This council is crooked and corrupt. That's just it. Liddell shouldn't even be in the seat. We got that information on there. You know, and like I said, all these little resolutions, all of a sudden, Neely is trying to cover his track because he's going to put all of that on them. 
So I'm not going to take much more of your time, but my family was like, you're going to have to calm down because when that stuff took place, I literally was in here cussing and screaming to the top of my lungs. It's really sickening to my stomach. We already know that being black, you got a target and a lot of people going to be racist. Right. That's just what it is. We're just in a country that we've always been dealt the hand of racism. I grew up in the South, so we were schooled about that. You don't let nobody do this and that. You don't let nobody say this or that. You are, you are just as good as anybody else. Don't let somebody tell you your color makes you less than it. So that's how we grew up. But growing up to see, or not, excuse me, but looking to see the majority of a black council and administration, and you're laughing at the suppression of your own people, it's sickening. Mm -hmm. It's very sickening. And I'm going to wrap up because I know you may have other people, but what I'm saying is, that's what sellout looks like. That's right. what cooning looks like. Right. That's what step and fetching looks like. And once you do that and you get out of that seat, you have ruined any credibility. So Quincy can talk about and everybody else can talk about every public figure thing you have done, but you have ruined it with your actions on this council because you refuse to stand up for rights and the people who do Y'all ostracize them and come up with fake um, things to get them out of their seat. So I'm just going to sit back and watch. But some more people got to get, some more of your own citizens got to get up there. Just like more different people coming. Y'all keep doing what you're doing. You're exposing corruption. Right. So when you get in that, it's not going to be easy because right. you are exposing and it's not just there, it's everywhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they are literally doing it and laughing about it. I know. All right, Queen, we got to wrap up so there. Hard. Okay. But uh, that's all I wanted to say, you know. And uh, I hope that Sister Audrey and them do what they need to do towards Paul because that was foul what he did to Miss Lee. Right. And so I just, um, that was my take on it. And y'all have a good day. You too. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All of them organizations that Miss uh, Liz Press is one to start of. the call or two to decline. Press I hope they come Monday and stand up for her. Press one to start the call or two to decline. should be a decline. lot of people there Monday standing up for Paul, who has... Does he have the city contract to record? Oh, oh, shit. Does he have the contract to hey, record? Hold on one Hello, Carla. You've been Hello, bumping. Carly. What's happening? What's up? What's your name and where you're calling from? I already know your name. This is Art Woodson. Uh, <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm calling. I'm calling from Flint, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just want to touch on what Rich said about Mayor Weaver's recall. I try not to speak about it too much, but since he brought it up, the thing with our recall. We got 8,000 signatures within 60 days because we had people standing. It was only five of us doing well, it. Weaver's recall? Yeah. Damn. You, you would pass by because you was working at Hurley. You would pass by. We was out at City Hall from 6.30 in the morning to 4.30 in the evening. And then when we, no, 5 o'clock in the evening. And then when we got done there, we went and walked until 10 o'clock at night for 60 days. Even the last day of getting signatures, I was so tired, I had walked a hole in my tennis shoes because we we was out there every single day. The problem that we have is people like to sit on the sidelines and speak about what's going on and try to give direction instead of getting out there, directing themselves to that door and asking people to sign. I, I don't I don't like when people bring up things that I'm doing or people or, or what, you know, what I'm doing or what I've done and, and try to say, you know, different things. That's just like, you know, come to the meetings, the water meetings. If you come to the water meetings, you'll see 
the questions that you raised that I had already raised those questions for three, four years now. Mm -hmm. Is our water safe? No, mm -hmm. our water is not safe. Mm -hmm. If we have to use a filter at our tap, it's not safe. Yep. If you have to treat treated water, when it gets here with one, they send it here one milligram per liter of orthophosphates. And when it gets to Flint, it's three milligrams that they add. So it's not safe. Then you have ACO. People don't understand what the ACO is. Administrative consent order. Come to the meetings and you will hear me going back and forth. I put up text messages. I put up emails. I put up documents. Don't, don't, don't say somebody's not doing anything when they are, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what frustrates a person. That's what makes people go back and forth, arguing with each other and everything else. That's just like that damn horse head, Al Sharpton. <laughs> I don't care if people get mad. Al Sharpton is a sellout. He's an informant. He's a snitch. And all he does is ask you to protest so he can go to the table and get paid. He working with Viola. We we saw him Viola. Viola tried to do a, a campaign against us to try to get our plaint, the plaintiff's lawyers fired. Mm. No one's listening to that. I mean, he was. Just, I just put a photo up of him standing with the CEO of Viola just the other day on on Twitter. I mean, we're not paying attention to what people are saying, but then we want to talk about the people that's out here doing things. Right. So, so you know that's that's the upsetting part about it. You can't you can't do that. You, I mean, if somebody brings an issue, come and talk to that person and say, try to find out what's going on instead of just taking what they say and running with it and not knowing. That's why the the conversation and the narrative for Flint is so messed up because you had so many people during the water crisis trying to talk, and then they was just bobbleheads speaking what the other people were speaking to where the narrative is just lead. We had more than just lead in our water. Right. We had everything in our water. But we allowed the media, we allowed activists to talk about lead, we allowed the lawyers to talk about lead. Now, people don't know that what we had in our water caused cancer, yep. and people going to the doctor, they healthy as hell today. But they go to the doctor tomorrow, find out that they have stage four cancer, yeah. and they die within three months. Yeah, you didn't watch the first part of our show. I, I'm saying exactly what you just said, because I heard you say that before. And I got a question for you, Art, real quick, because I know you're the expert on this water stuff, because you've been in it from the beginning. That article that came out where Judy is talking about, um, you know, we don't have any money to fix this right now. But she's seen other instances where they found money before and we can just kick this down the road a little bit. That that's hurting us each each day, each minute that passes with this water not being fixed. And what what's your take on that about they don't have enough money to fix it now? What what what's going on, Art, with all of this? Judy is a dumbass. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> See, okay. here, here's the problem with that, right? They gave us $120 million. When Neely got in, August of 2022, as of August 20, 2022, we had $38 million. When Mayor Weaver was in office, EPA and Eagle, which was MDEQ at the time, they put in place where you couldn't charge no more than $4,500 a service by. When Neely got in office, it went from $4,500 to $9,000 a service line. It only cost $3,100 $3, at the most just to get your service line changed. The reason why I know this is because Neely tried to kick uh, Ms. Lottie out of uh, the Golden Leaf, mm. and she had to get her service line changed, and she has a receipt, which I saw, that only cost $3,100 to change the service line. Wow. Then around, I put a video up of where they paid Goyette over a million dollars to do uh, road restoration at houses that wasn't even on the list. So you lost over a million dollars with that right there. Then he gave Goyette a million dollars where Mayor Weaver, uh, they tried to sue Mayor Weaver and she told him that she wasn't paying him. He turned around and paid him 
because they gave him over $13,000 at that fundraiser right after he got elected. Mm. Billy had been giving away money and he messed up the money. And now it's $6 million left in the wind fund and they don't have any money left. And he didn't, he hasn't advocated to the state for any money. So now they have to find money um, to finish the road restoration and the service lines under the NRDC lawsuit. Mm. So where do they get that money from? Do uh, he put in for a drinking revolving loan or does he turn around and use the ARPA funds or do he get it from the general fund? Mm. He had, to, he had, that's what this ACO is. It's an administrative consent order. Okay. The administrative consent order is where uh, back when KWA was starting, that's where they got that $85 million sweetheart deal. You know, the last time, you know, this news article that they put out called Hush Hush, you know, the last time we heard Hush Hush was when the certain pastors got the Hush Hush filters. Mm -hmm. You remember that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. So what Neely did, and I'm getting ready to quit right here, what Neely did, they went to executive session so that you wouldn't see the ACO. The ACO is for public health. Our water is not safe. They know it's not safe. And things in that ACO will show you that it's not safe. So what they did, they went to executive session so that we couldn't see it. And they wouldn't have to speak about it on uh, the floor. So yesterday at our communication meeting, I went back and forth with Katie O'Neill, which is director of... Uh, the city for for the mayor. She lies just she she lies more than the mayor. Mm -hmm. And they made it to where we couldn't see it. And that's what we uh fighting for now is to make it uh public so that the people will have input on if they should sign the ACO or if uh they should negotiate and come up with something else. But Mayor Neely uh the lemon drop uh Santos he don't want us to see it. So that's what I'm calling in for. I just want people to know that in order to get those signatures, you got to work to get those signatures. You just can't talk about it. You got to be about it. And we was out there from 630 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. Me and Ms. Poplar, uh, Joyce Wilson at the time, Sean Holmes. It was it was a couple of us out there, man, every single day for 60, 60 days in a row out there beating the pavement and it was only six of us five six of us out there every day so all right thanks and thank you thank y'all for listening really appreciate it thank you have a good one all, all right. right bye bye don't forget this sunday for those of us in flint support dink salsa at the roll house and art be you be on the grill with the ribs i heard the ribs and stuff it's real good um I don't know if he's doing the turkey tips, like he'd be doing turkey tips and all of them little frog nuggets and all of that type of stuff he'd be fixing. But support Ding Sosa in the Roll House this Sunday. Come on out with the grown folks and have y'all a good time with Art Woodson. Call or two in to the decline. Kitchen. Press one to start the, the call will start at the beep. Good morning, caller. Last call of the day. What's your name and where you calling well. from? This is Jessica from Cali. What's up, cousin? Couple things, couple things. Um, I watched that meeting and I, I died laughing because Quincy is what you get when you, what's that thing about laying down with dogs and waking up with fleas? He is a very flea, a very flea bitten councilman mm. right now. The other thing that's interesting is you see how little loyalty they have. Now, I know that I can go and find a meeting in the past where Maeve and Jerry Winfrey Carter have voted differently, but they still remain friends. You vote differently from these assholes and they turn on you. He got, Trey turned Candace and Eva turned on him so quick. I swear you'd have thought that she was talking about Tanya, talking to Tanya Burns or Jerry Winfrey Carter, the way that she dragged him up one side and down the other mm -hmm. for daring to ask questions. They don't have no loyalty. They turned on his ass quick and struck like, like Cobra. And I don't feel a bit sorry for him because it was okay when it was happening to Jerry Winfrey Carter, when it was happening to Tanya Burns and Dennis Pfeiffer and Eric Mays. 
now you experience in that sensation where you the warnings Art Woodson has warned you. Other people have warned you. Sis Audrey has warned you. 810 has warned you about the consequences of getting in the getting in the bed with objective wrong. And now you're seeing what's happening to you. I mean, it was clear as glass when it didn't support, they don't support any, they didn't and do not support any of your resolutions. Now you are asking questions and you sounding like Eric Mays. Mm -hmm. Problematizing not being, not being able to ask questions or vote differently from people. Um, he made specific references to being bullied by Liddell. So again, of course, you don't smell the shit, the dog shit, until it gets heated to your backyard. Right. But it's just interesting watching the new dynamic. And I saw some people who were, who were feeling some kind of compassion. I don't. Quincy Murphy is a grown-ass man. He has spent almost the entire time on council voting in lockstep with people, good, bad, right, or wrong. It didn't matter. And so now that you are actually beginning to do some actual critical thinking, you are suffering political and social consequences in in your own pack. You're being you he is what happens when the pack cannibalizes itself. Mm -hmm. um, enough on Quincy, real quick. Um, Paul. Paul Herring, so I remember a meeting a couple months back, it might have been a year ago. You were in this clip. Well, it wasn't a clip. It was they were on recess. Either they were either on recess or they were getting ready to leave. And somebody came up. Another woman, another black woman, came up to Paul and said something to Paul. And Paul called her all kind of bitches. You had to tell. You told him. I don't know if you remember, but you told him to calm his ass down. Oh, I sure I, did. I, I remember that. Damn, just you, you got told a good him memory. To calm his ass. You told him to come. So this is not his first time disrespect, disrespecting a black woman. And the reason why I'm putting the emphasis on black woman is because Paul is a handkerchief head Negro. He has gone on record with his white supremacist views, going all the way back to when Communities, cur communities First, and, and yes, Jerry Winfrey Carter, had, and a lot of people had very good reason not to want that building in their neighborhood because it was this, because it was a historic district and it really didn't fit with the vibe of the neighborhood. I understood that. Paul's objections though. Well, well hold on, Jessica. Hold on, Je hold on, Jessica. No, Jay, he didn't tell me to shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. He was talking to another no, lady. No, sir. He, he was talking <laughs> to another Paul lady. Paul crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I told him to quit <laughs> talking to that lady like that. Yeah, I remember that now. No, no, baby. Yeah, he told, he told, he said, he told her to shut the F up. I can't remember if he called her to call her the B word or not, but I, you know he told you shut the fuck up. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And you have to tell him to calm his ass down and, and, and don't talk to her like that. Mm -hmm. I remember that. But he, his, he, I'm saying all of this to say his objections to that building in Carriage Town were classist. And one of the things that he said when he got up there, he spoke. He said, "Communities first lied to us, and he said there weren't going to be any low-income people in this neighborhood." Mm. Paul is all for the, all for the economic cleansing that is taking place in Flint right now. Mm -hmm. He's perfectly content to watch poor people get eradicated, whether it be water, whether it be bad. Um, third world conditions in their homes with shit in their basements, no windows, roofs, or furnaces. That is how he is. That is his, that's been his mentality. Um, he's gone on record with those views. So, of course it doesn't surprise me that he's embroiled in this bullshit with the Fab Five or the Satanic Six, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. He has a history, he has a history of, again, being very aggressive and disrespectful towards black women. Um, and he, of course, is in league with Liddell and the rest of them because they are, they, they share political views in common. Um, as far as the rest of this stuff is concerned, again, I, I'm going to say what I've been saying. 
please, please, please do what you can. It's, it's exhausting. It's emotionally exhausting. It's physically exhausting. But you have to knock on doors. You have to get out the vote. Um, there's a lot of confusing information. There was a, I, there were points where I was listening to, to the county clerk, and I was a little bit lost. Um, but the stakes are not as high for me, so I had the luxury of being lost. Right. But do your best to wade through those weeds and make sure that your voice is heard on that day because you got people up. These aren't just lazy politicians or corrupt politicians. The complaints that people have or that they could have about these people are not your run-of-the-mill complaints about politicians. They are trying to fucking kill you. Yep. Eliminators. They are trying... Yeah, they are trying to kill you. Maurice Davis said this years ago, this is a genocidal effort. Yeah. The fact that it's, that it's lasted 10 years is because there have, been, there have been many concerted efforts, many of them led by an Eric Mays, many of them led by an Art Woodson, many of them led by a sister, Audrey Muhammad to counteract what they are trying to do. So it's not going as easy as they wanted to, even though that there have been the cash they get in some of the casual a lot of the cash casualties that they want. But you gotta have you gotta try to wield whatever power that you can to get them out of there. Mm -hmm. It does look bleak. It does look like there there's not gonna be any any support. Um Jan Marie said that she went to the state police and they did absolutely nothing. Um, the only thing that I can do is just try to, try to make it, 18 can't do it all. Okay. We have all kinds of, all kinds of social media and modes of mass communication at, at our fingertips. Right. Expose them. Right. If a, if a random Karen can get fired for calling somebody the N word in the grocery store, you should be able to put all of the, all of these antics on blast. Right. There's no way that the, that the president of the Flint Flint City Council should be able to get away with running up on a colleague mm -hmm. and on two members of the Flint fucking electorate and not be a national pariah. Mm -hmm. Just like that white Karen. Just like Barbecue Becky or any of the rest of them. She needs to be put on blast. Find, find the YouTube, find a very popular YouTube channel that specializes in public freakout videos and send them those clips. Flood Rashad Richie's inbox with clips of Liddell's behavior toward other black folks. Because just send, and send it to Roland Martin. Because mm -hmm. even if Rashad Ritchie is hesitant to publicly critique another black person, and I know a lot of people who are uh, who are anti-racist don't like to do that because it's the equivalent of airing our dirty laundry before the eyes of white folks. But Roland Martin ain't got no problem with that. He roasted Chrisette Michelle's ass over an open fire, and he goes after black Republicans all the time. Ex send that stuff to Roland Martin. Send Eva Worthing stuff and Judy stuff to Roland Martin. Get them exposed. If they do have any political ambitions beyond these council seats, do what you can as a citizen of Flint to cut them off at the knees. Right. Okay. You're not entirely powerless. It's hopeless, and it looks hopeless, but it's not entirely powerless. If somebody, like I said, if somebody, a random somebody who's not politically active, can get somebody fired from their job for shouting racial slurs in the middle of a deli, right. then you damn sure should be able to expose you social media and all of the modes of mass communication that we have at your disposal, that you have at your disposal to put the spotlight on these individuals. Right. Not yep. just not just because they are part of a genocidal effort, but because they're deplorable human beings who need to be exposed. Right. Okay, baby, I gotta get you to work right. to wrap up. We gotta right. get out of here. Oh yeah, um, just do what you can to, to vote them out. And if you can't vote, and while you're voting them out during the election period, if you can't get them out sooner than that, 
use this election year to expose their antics and punt them into the political wilderness. All right. Because that's where they belong. Okay, babe. That's it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Uh, truth you be told. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, truth be told, I don't, I, don't, I, I haven't blocked you, so I don't know what's going on. What happened now? Truth be told, said, have I blocked her? I said, what did Woodrow say? Woodrow go like something. Good MLK initiative talk. How many sign-ups did you get? I haven't talked to uh, Kyra, so I'm not sure. But um, thank you, Woodrow. And you guys, if you missed the Winter Tall Show last night, please go back and check it out. I need everyone, everyone, because we're about to take our city over and move it forward, to sign up for um, the group that's posted in Flint Politics Reboot, ATN News Media Group, and also on my page, the International Martin Luther King Group of Community Leaders. Everybody has leadership capabilities inside of them, whether they know it or not. And it's time that we stop talking about it and be about it and we about to be about it. Not just us here in Flint. We got a whole lot of different cities coming in that's going to help us and that's behind us. So if you are interested in getting on board and being a part of the change and not just sitting here talking about it every day, I implore you to sign up for that group. And we have a call every Tuesday, a Zoom call from 6 to 7. Jump on it, see what it's about. And I'm sure, I'm sure it will spark a change inside of you. Also, it's only $30 to join um, the group. If you're a student, it's only $20. We got a summit coming up in Detroit, different speakers um, in June. I think it's like Juneteenth weekend, but just I'll be talking more about it as the weeks to come. It's a post real quick before we get off. I want you guys to see this. This is what's wrong with our city. So she had to put up that the recall language was approved. But look what look what Eva wrote. What did she say? And this is what this is what she does going out. This is it's this time it's actually filed by a resident and not someone hired by another council person to lead the recall. The eighth ward deserves a council person who focuses on their needs instead of hindering the business of the city of Flint. His behavior on council and his disgusting treatment of women is what led to this recall. Flint deserves better. And next week is her last week on council. So the ninth ward is a, deserves better as well. And we hope that you get the best representation that you ever had before. So with that being said, don't forget about the clubhouse on Saturday nights. We know how to do it now. So we're going to be rocking out the clubhouse from 7, 15, 8 o'clock with the DJ. Then 8 o'clock, we're going to start our discussions. We just ask that you be respectful in the clubhouse. We don't care who talk in the clubhouse. If you're from in town or out of space, it's just as long as you're respectful in the trap. Stay tuned at 1 o'clock for Trevor's Rant. Stay tuned at 5 o'clock for a community conversation with Clack and Carol. And then, as always, from 16 to 17, only on 18, you got Sister Circle with me and Anna from the DMV. And then at 8 o'clock, is she coming on tonight? 8 o'clock, Club Rich. And then tomorrow at 10 a.m., nothing but Councilwoman Tanya Burns talking about all the latest mishaps in the dumpster fire meetings in council. You know, the ones that she hasn't even be at, been at. So we can't wait to hear from Tanya in the morning. So stick and stay with A10 all day. Hold up, and this is what said. He said, I signed up here to pay for three Flint residents that want to join and may not have be able to pay. He said, let them know once. I sure will. Thank you, Woodrow. So you see that three people, if you are not able to uh, um, pay for your $30 membership, Woodrow Green will sign up. Three people, contact me, and I will let him know who you are. 
and he will pay your sign up fee. It's time for us to get up off of our asses and do it ourselves and quit waiting for somebody to come in and save us. We are out of here. Mickey, any last words? Peace.